Initially, when we were diagnosed, our oldest had autism. We were told that he had severe autism. Um, they gave us uh, pretty much no hope that they would live very long. We were kind of told, you know, there's a couple therapies out there, but you're just, this is your life, sorry. And I'd asked the question, has anybody done hyperbaric oxygen therapy? We were really intrigued by hyperbarics, so we rented a chamber for 40 dives. I think that definitely hyperbarics has come into play greatly in Caleb's advancement. I developed a, a very good relationship with this physician and I finally did tell him what we were doing and he told us, he, he supported us 100%. He said, it's no doubt it's working. And then when we added in the hyperbarics, we saw what we wanted to see. We just saw him just take off. I'll still never forget after the third treatment of hyperbarics. We just had no idea that we would move this forward and get this much accomplished and them uh, going to school now and <laughs> you know not being in the hospital all the time and his seizures stopped. This is a kid that had seizures for five years and on medication so and weight gain the language exploded. Um, we've seen an, an increase in cognition, um, and he started to grow. The, in fact, the, the seizure disorder was controlled so well that he's been off of medication for three years with no seizures. It's been pretty amazing. I mean, this is all because I'm so happy. I mean, we're just so thankful and just so happy that he is where he is considering what we were told. You know, we have this special little boy who has his challenges yet, but you know, he's mainstreamed in second grade. We were told that probably would never happen. He skis, he plays, you know, some sports. He's quirky, he doesn't play as well, but you know, he, he's doing so good. And we're just so thankful to have him back. Since hyperbarics and all the integrative things that we've done, we've never had any of that regression at all. We just keep getting progress. Yeah. But we started getting all these skills back, and then it just makes you want more, and then you get greedy. <laughs> That's what it feels like, and I'm like, we just got to keep going. We just got to keep going. We just keep getting more and more of our children back. So, Caleb has really come out of his shell to the fact sometimes we have to remind him to tone it down. We're blessed and thankful that we were able to find uh, hyperbarics and, and to find a center that was right here for us. And just to see uh, just the wonderful things that our children are able to do because of hyperbarics. You know, it's, it's something that I think, I wish, I pray that more specialists or doctors or even families were willing to look at because I think they're just missing something that could help so many more children out there. We were fortunate enough to be introduced to the hyperbaric oxygen therapy when we were at a doctor's visit one day. And we went in for like 45 minutes. On the way home from there, Nicholas was in the back seat and he started singing like alphabet, ABC. ABC. He was like saying ABC. One time in just his engagement and eye contact that I'm like, maybe this is something for him. Ever since he's been doing the HBOT, he's much more engaged. His eye contact has improved. Um, his language has increased. I'm like, I, I, I have to get it off hyperbaric oxygen chamber for us. I, I want one in the house. <laughs> and I did find out through my research that OxyHealth was far superior than some of the other ones. I would not trust my son's life in any other hyperbaric chamber other than OxyHealth's hyperbaric chamber.